Hello everyone and peace of Christ to you all again. Uh, please invite your friends and don't uh, hesitate to copy the link of the video and share it with your friends in Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, just a few days ago, I spoke about the light of the moon and what the Muslims claim to be a reflected light. Now, don't forget that if you want and if you like to really to read and learn about Islam uh, or what it's called the miracle of the Quran, you can go and read my books. I have uh, a few books uh, online. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. And specifically in my books, I refuted what the Muslims claim to be science in the Quran. There's deception of Allah and Quran and science. They are both, they complete each other, and both of them, they speak about the same topic, which is Quran and science. Uh, those two books are supposed to be one book, but I divide them to two because it became so big. So uh, feel free to get my books so you can learn and arm yourself with the knowledge and the truth. Now, we spoke about the reflected moon as the muslims claim but i will go over it fast so we can talk about something more crazy the quran mention first of all the muslims they claim or they say that the moon uh, according to the quran the moon is reflecting the light it's not having its own light the fact the quran says the opposite and we will prove that very fast and very easy uh, we built seven firms, liars, above you. We installed a blazing lamp. It, it doesn't even say that. I mean, look, look what happened to the verses. If we go and read the verses, I mean, uh, uh, it, this is what the verses say. That's it. Are you sure? Let us go and read chapter 78, verse number 23. If we go to the interpretation, I will go first to the interpretation. I will do it in the front of you. Seventy-eight. And again, check the verse again. Twelve and thirteen. Okay, just take a note. So, twelve. And thirteen. All right. Let us see what the Quran is saying about this. What the Muslims don't want to show you is what is before it. You know, isn't it the Muslim they say to us that the Quran, don't take the Quran out of context? Don't they say to us, why don't read the verse before it and the verse after it? Okay, let's do and see why. Why they cut it off. Here we will see in the same chapter it says that Allah, He made the earth flat. Haven't we made the earth as mahad? Mahad means a bed, and med is a flat, meaning establish firm and peaceful resting place. Then he placed in the top of the bed or the flat earth, he placed a mountain like pigeons, and that obviously a stupid mistake. The Quran teach that Allah He placed mountains in the top of the earth, but all of us we knew that the mountains not only from the earth, but they are from the deep of the earth. They are the pressure of the magma and the pressure of the uh, the, the, the tectonic plate, or it, it can happen from a, a, a volcano. So the Quran is saying that Allah He placed mountains on top of the earth, and He made the earth flat. In the same chapter we are reading from. Then He continue. And why Allah He placed the mountain in the top of the earth so they will not quick, they will not shake on you. But we know that mountains. Actually, they happen because there is a quake, because there is shaking, and because there is a movement. The Earth never stop moving. Movement. Uh, uh, if the Earth actually stop moving, which means the magma inside the Earth, that means the Earth is dead, and we are dead. The Earth will go down to minus uh, minus one hundred uh, over a few hours if the magma stop moving. Because when we say the magma stop moving, it means the magma became cold, and if the magma became cold. The earth is dead, as simple as that. Uh, and then the Quran make another mistake, says, uh, we created you in pair. Is that true? There's many creatures, they are not in pairs. As an example, the Quran mentioned that Allah, he created for you the mule. The mule. I mean, how stupid that is. Allah created from everything too. And he created the, the mule. Is the mule a creation of God? 
you know, somebody will say, sure, sure, everything, creation of God. But, but no, that's not, what the, not, not the point. The point is that when you say that I made for you the horses and the donkeys and the mule, and he has a created, he has what? A created horses and mules. A mule, my friend, God did not create a mule. God created a horse and a donkey. The horse and the donkey, they had sex together and they got a mule. A mule is not a creation of God by itself. So that is a stupid mistake. In the same chapter we are reading from, you see, I'm just going through. Okay, let us continue. Then, uh, look how many mistakes here in the same chapter. I mean, look at this. That uh, uh, the night, the night is covering the day. I mean, that's stupid. The night is not covering the day. For very simple reason, there's no night and there's no day to be covered. What does that mean? By the night as it cancels. Qutada said, we have made the light as a covering, meaning tranquil residence concerning Allah's statement. And we are anyway, let's go to the to the moon uh, because we want to answer the moon story. All right. What is the moon story? I didn't see where is the moon. Did we quote the wrong verse? No. Did we move? 78, 12, 13. Uh, I don't see. Yeah, you know, it, 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 not even there any of what they said. Where it says, and we built, you know, seven layers above, we installed. This is one verse or two verses. I mean, those people are really weird. Let me show you something. Hold on. Let me open. Quran. Quran 78. All right. This is Quran.com website, a Muslim website. I have nothing to do with it. All right, we will go to verse number 12 and 13. All right. Look with me here. We made seven heavens and made therein a burning lamp. If you read the other translation, it's coming differently. So we constructed seven heaven and they are supposedly strong. And we made lamps, but where is the lamp Allah he put? Let us go and see. Just to show you how mad this God is. This God, he said, that the lamps are located in the lowest heaven. The Muslims, they speak about the same verse about Allah, he made seven heavens. They say this is the atmosphere. But in the same Quran, the same verse, it says that Allah, he put there the lamps. In the same the same website, the same the same person who claimed that this is about science, he says that this is a seven, the seven heaven is a seven atmosphere. And then the same person later, he make it about the light of the moon and the light of the sun, which means the lamp is the sun and the stars, and the moon is or the word nur is the word mean the light of the moon. Now, if we go here, uh, let us see. The search engine. All right. Inna zayyinna samaa dunya bi zinati al kawakib. Chapter thirty-seven, verse number six. Chapter sixty-seven, number five. Walaqad zayyinna samaa dunya bi masabiha 
Remember with me, the Muslim they say that the word masabih mean lamps, and that is a stars. But this verse saying that Allah He placed in the lowest heaven lamps and He showed the star, He showed the shaitan with it. Read with me. <laughs> you see the science? That's amazing science. So we decorated. I don't know how, how clear this uh, text is. Let me zoom in. So we have decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. And what Allah He do with the lamps? We have made such a lamp as a missiles to shoot away the devil, the evil ones. But where does the evil ones live? The evil ones live in the earth. But if we go on the Muslim website, they say, that the word masabih or the word siraj is about a lamp and that lamp is a star but Allah is saying that this star he shoot with it the devil and the devil he live in the earth so how you can shoot a small tiny devil who live in the earth by a star without destroying the earth we continue if we go down here you see don't you see how we created seven heavens in liars please the moon as a light in them and we made the sun as a blazing lamp remember here we go the same word as lamp but here as we showed you Allah he shoot the devil by the lamps and the devil he live in the earth so if the lamp is a star then that's stupid Quran saying that Allah he used the word he used the, the, the stars to shoot the devil who live inside the earth and that is supposedly a miracle which is amazing but that's impossible because uh, not only it's funny to shoot a to shoot a devil you know uh, Allah he have a Star War missile system so he shoot any devil he tried to go out of the earth as in the different verse in the Quran however we're going back to the to the uh, uh, original verse the Muslim they say to you that the word is used here is the word Nuran or Nuran and the word Nuran mean reflected moon or reflected light that's absolutely a false because we always in Arabic we say Nur Shams Nur Shams not only that the Quran says Allah is the light of the sky and the earth and it's used the word Nur so if the word Nur mean reflected light that's mean Allah is reflected light too if we go right now and search for this All right. Sometimes the search engine is act weird. All right. Uh, if the word nur mean reflected light, you will see it says. That Allah, when He sent to him His signs, He is sending them, sending to them a nur. You see the word nur? Is that a reflected light? A nur came from Allah. Is that a reflected light? <laughs> Remember the word nur means reflected light, right? All right. Yeah. Uh, let us continue. Alhamdulillah, he led samawat al ard wa ja'ala al dhulamat one nur. Praise be to Allah, the one who created the, the sky and the earth, and he made the darkness and the nur. What does that mean? Allah created two things, supposedly, which is a stupid because you cannot create darkness. He created darkness and nur. If nur is reflected light, so what Allah created? That's stupid. You see how they lie? Chapter 6, verse number 1. Let me zoom in more so we can make the text more clear. Uh, 
Allah created a reflected light he created two things only two things remember this is chapter 6 verse number 1 you can change the translation any translation you wish praise be to Allah who has created the heaven and the earth and he has appointed darkness and light what is the word light here is nur but the Muslim they say to us in their false miracle that the word nur is a reflected light but Allah in the Quran if he exists he did not mean name any kind of light except the word nur as simple as that we continue all right let us see there's there's uh, there's tons of verses actually about the word nur all those verses you see they have the word nur now look at this chapter 9 verse number 39 32 it says you do not they wanna they wanna stop the light of Allah if the word nur is reflected light that's mean the light of Allah is reflected light too Nurullah, do you see it, Muslims? So why Muslims they lie? They say the word Nur means reflected light. Where you get this from? Is that from a dictionary? Is that from Arabic? Or this from your fiction? Fain would they extinguish Allah light? What is the word light is used here? Nur. But remember, in the Muslim website, they said that the word Nur means reflected light. It's in front of you. So they fabricate lies and they make it exist when it's not exist. In other words, the Muslims, they try to make the Quran or they change the Quran to make it fit with science because they are not honest and they have no faith. A person who has faith will not do that. Those people, they follow the devil, they don't follow God. I will never change the meaning of my Bible for anyone. It doesn't matter if it's agree with science or not. Either I believe or I don't. And obviously those Muslims don't believe. A believer will not do such a thing. As simple as that. Now we continue. As long as we get them busted, because the Quran says clearly that Allah is the Nur. If Allah if Allah is Nur, it's mean he is reflected light. What about the Quran do not know even how many moons there is? The Quran think that there is many moons. Let us show you this. Yes, alunaka anil ahilla. Yes, alunaka anil ahilla. What the word ahilla mean? Ahilla, as simple as this. Cursed moons. Cursed moons. Not moon, moons. Chapter 2, verse 189. Do you see it? Why the Quran? believe or teach that there is crescent moons they ask thee concerning the new moons the fact doesn't say new moons by the way this is a false translation it's a crescent moons so why the Quran think there is curse there is moons if we have one moon simply because Muhammad is copying from the Sabians the Sabian believe that when a moon goes a new moon will come this is why the Sabian, when they fast a month, which is equal to Ramadan, 30 days, they say goodbye when they start fasting. When they start fasting, they fast all the month, and then they move to a different city in Haran, in the north, north of Iraq, and then they welcome the new moon because they believe that that moon is gone, and now a new moon, which is a new life to start with. If we go to the interpretation of the Quran, we will find this. So Muslim will not say we are making things up. Or we are giving our own interpretation. You know them. Chapter 2, verse 189. Remember. So we go in the, in the interpretation. Here we go. Chapter 2. Al Baqarah. Verse number 189. Oh, sorry 
189. Here we go. All right. Read with me. It is the crescent. You see? It is a crescent. It's not the moon only. This is why the Muslims, they celebrate everything by the moon and they consider the crescent moon something special. And this is why they have the crescent moon in the top of their mosque. Because this is the sign of the moon god and the, 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 the uh, uh, and Baal. You know, when Baal is horny, his two horn appear in the sky and that's supposedly the crescent moon is his true horn. The, the, the Arab and non-Arab at that time, they don't, they don't know that this is really a crescent moon as much they, they believe it is the horn of Baal. Baal now is having sex with the sun, the star, sun, yeah. So they are having sex, and then later they have three daughters. So when Baal, his two horn appearing, that means he is horny, and now he is having sex, and he is fertilizing the earth. So they are waiting for the crescent moon, but it's not a crescent moon. It's crescent moons, as you see in the Quran. That's why it says here, Al-Ahilla. Al-Ahilla. Let us go there. Or the word Al-Ahilla. All right. You can go to any tra translation, by the way. You will see. Uh, we are not picking up our... All right. You see here he translated the word as a new moon. That's false. That's why I don't accept Muslim translation. It's not the new moon. It's the crescent moon specifically. The word Ahilla coming from the word Hilal. And a stupid idiot, anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew that the word Hilal means crescent moon. But because those are Pakistani guys who translate the Quran, they don't even speak Arabic. I don't think they speak Arabic. How in the world somebody, he translate the word Hilal as a moon? It is not a moon. It is a crescent moon. All right. Look, this guy too. The new moons. It doesn't say that. It says crescent moon. If we go right now to the dictionary and we type the word Hilal or Ahilla as it is. For sure, there's many meaning. Let us go to the word. The original word is Hilal. Hold on. It's, it's giving you the word Ahel, not Ahilla. I type Ahel, Ahilla. It's giving me Ahel. This is a different word. Let us type the original word, Hilal. Do you see it? Crescent. The curve of the moon in the first quarter. As simple as that, and there, you know, and you will see it says Hilal, 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 Hilal. All of those about the crescent. So the word in the Quran is Ahilla, is the crescent moon. So this is why I say always, don't ever trust a Muslim translation because they don't tra translate. Mostly, I think they use Google uh, or software, or maybe they copy. I think all of them they are copying Yusuf Ali, and they are trying to make money from his translation. So they just change few words. You know what I mean? Yusuf Ali, he said the new moons. All of them, they say new moons. But if you go, actually, if you go to... Uh, actually, there's a website here, this website. Let me show you. This website have uh, all translation. So if we go here, chapter two, <clears throat> just to give you an example, how the Muslims their translation changed from person to person, and the, and the translation may, you know make a huge difference. Uh, hold on. I don't know why it's taking me. Okay, I put it in Baccarat. It's taking me to. Uh, 
funny website. All right. Look at this. Look how many of them they translated as a as a as a new moon. But I'm sure you will find somebody. He is on. He's honest. Look at this. They are asking him about the crescent. Say, the crescents. It's, it's crescents. Many of them. All right. Yeah. Here he says a new moon. New moon. New moon. New moons. Uh, uh, the faces, the faces of the of the moon. It doesn't say that. Uh, here, uh, the faces of the moon. Here, they question you about the crescents. It's not only the crescent. You said you have to say the crescent moons, moons. All right. Anyway, the word ahilla mean crescent moons, and uh, 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 obviously the Quran believe or teach. That there is many moons and those moons they come uh, one after one if we go to different verse in the Quran it says the following <coughs> let us go here look what the Quran says about the moon read the Muslim translation not my, my not my translation all right so the moon goes uh, and move from uh, from uh, from places uh, palaces you know you can change the translation if you don't want. Now, this is verse number 39 you can use Shaki or all of them they are the same it doesn't matter and as of the moon we have ordained its stages till become again as an old dry palm branch what does that mean so what the Quran claim it doesn't say the word stages by the way it says manazil manazil mean houses the Quran the, the Quran saying that the moon grow up in age get old get old until it die and then a new moon will come a new moon will come look at this and the moon we have measured for her mentions to uh, uh, Trevor's till she returned like the old she returned what she returned hmm? that's funny to say she right like the old lower part of the data stock what does that mean the moon is getting old yeah the moon get old this is why we have a new moon every new month that's why they keep saying to you the new moon if there's only one moon, why it's a new moon? Obviously, it's a stupid error in the Quran. Now, we can continue, but I decided to make the videos short so you guys can download them easy and you can load them in your uh, YouTube. So thank you for being here. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And may the Lord bless you all. Thanks.